oil free moisturizer is done i'm just i'm not going to use it anymore because i've replaced it with a filerina cream so i'm just finishing this and it won't be a part of my schedule anymore it's just that for most of you like i'll have you on an oil free moisturizer because your skin is still not well hydrated hydrated to put you on a hyaluronic acid which actually just plumps up the skin and makes it glow um so now on alternate days i will do a salicylic acid and lactic acid at the same time so lactic acid is just to maintain um, the effect of glycolic acid and AHA. My exfoliant of choice is an AHA. Okay, retinoids are exfoliants among other things, but usually work well when paired with another exfoliant. And my favorite are AHAs for African skin. If you're looking for brightness, and bh is if you're looking to control shine and breakouts and just settle the skin because even the texture that you see even if it's not pimples pimples can be settled by a bh salicylic acid is the best bh so guys please watch my content from the beginning because i talk about all these things and how they help like i mentioned them so i don't have to do long explanations with you guys if you watch my content and you can be able to actually organize your own skincare packs it's just that i usually say most of you are very very confused on where to start because you know you don't start all these things at the same time you don't even know how to layer them and actually just videos doing these videos is just a lot of work like i may not really have the time to show you how i layer stuff but that's probably where i'm going with the workshops where you actually come and see me in person and we teach you how to layer and and stuff and customize a very simple regimen that will work for you if you feel like what i'm doing is too much though i'm very minimalist so for me um my salicylic acid will go first and then the lactic acid and then i'm done so that's my night bag now in this night bag i put um, a musing cloth and bandari has this really nice musing cloth it's for washing the face and drying it like if you're not in the shower if you're not going to the shower but you need to to clean your face and i'll also put this when i'm using my my cellar it's a just a reusable cloth pads that i bought uh, when i was in the uk i'm sure you can find them anywhere here in kenya so that's basically my day and night bag but let me not leave without showing you my miscellaneous bag now my miscellaneous bag the thing that we miss right now i've i've left tretinoin for use on my body because remember you guys have i've told you like where you have stretch marks you can apply tretinoin and, and hyaluronic acid that's what i've decided to use it on because i've been noticing i think maybe with just a really hectic schedule i've been getting breakouts a lot during my period so i've actually just changed to clear tea clindamycin tretinoin or any brand of clindamycin tretinoin to be using every night to just help me keep breakouts away um and i'm going to use it indefinitely so my tretinoin is going to be for use like this is a brand of tretinoin it's a zero my i usually don't think you need to go really high for tretinoin unless it's affordable in kenya because the people who sell tretinoin at 0.1 percent are, are really extravagant like this is 0.05 percent tretinoin and it's worked well for me over 10 years so this i'm going to use mainly on the stretch marks of my body for body care you've seen that in my previous videos then of course in my miscellaneous bag i don't miss um, benzoyl peroxide and this is for night time and this is for morning benzoyl peroxide i always do in the morning and you can get that in any pharmacy and these things are very cheap i've already told you guys they cost less than 500 depending on where you buy them and they always cost like that so um i have a body care video i've already recorded showing you guys how i apply benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin on my groin to help me brighten that part and keep away bumps and i have so many videos on groin care now the other thing i've also introduced into my regimen is my comazole 
so i noticed when i was treating most of you at bandari that after we are done with our regimens like after especially if you come with malassezia the one for the yeast the one that has very small rashes and breakouts over the upper chest and back most of you when i give you the ketoconazole shampoo and the myconazole you clear so well you actually almost look like the glass skin people tell me they want so i decided that i'm going to be doing my conazole cream once a week because i realized that you see all africans are actually quite seborrheic and i've used that term a lot during consultations all africans produce a lot of sebum actually uh, more than other races just that some of you about 80 percent of the population of women produce more sebum than the rest of us so this becomes necessary in your regimens once a week so i will just tell you to be honest if you've had a history of being acne prone in whatever way whether it's malassezia or acne vulgaris having breakouts on the upper chest and back just apply my conazole on the face neck upper chest and back at least once a week it really helps also scientifically has been shown to reduce the redness of acne pimples so that has become a recent thing so anytime of the week um i need to buy a hydrocortisone i always have a hydrocortisone ointment preferably for me or you can be ointment or cream i also do it once a week like on the day i do the myconazole because i notice my skin barrier is never really quite settled being eczematous so i usually will apply the steroid only once a week only once a week and that enables my face to not have flares because sometimes i see flares on my face even when i'm doing my best to use emollient now um the other thing i don't mind is caffeine eye cream like on days when you know you've not slept very well or basically every day you can apply it in your under eyes it helps to the fast they already talked about that in the previous video i just have this skincare applicators like i've showed this in my previous video i bought it when i was in the uk i really love it for applying skincare around the eyes i also have okay this is for when i'm scooping things out of my jars like for body care because i don't put my hands into my skincare i've told you guys why you shouldn't do that if you've been watching my content very well so this is this silicone patch is also something i really really love it's just that i've been too busy to use like on days you know you're having an event or something that will have you having photos let's say and you want your under eyes to look deep puffed you can apply the eye cream plus the silicone eye patches and you can get that from most beauty stores or whatever or youtube videos or be daddy what else is here of importance my dama cleaner um miniso has some really cute dama cleaners by the way i just bought one today and i won't miss my filerina eyes and eyelids i just want my eye area to look younger and i've already made a video on that now the workshops i have will actually teach you how to layer these things so that's why i won't really go deep into how i layer but yeah anyway that's my my skincare miscellaneous bag that's i just mentioned the things that are all important now the other thing i've also become accustomed to doing is face masks um i wouldn't say i was ever a fan of them and i've also told you guys to stay away from them before because i couldn't get face masks that really had dermatological significance in studies but i have a few masks that i love that have been proven to work so uh for me um of course i always go for hydrating anything hydrating so this is something i got from skin essentials ke it's it says hydrating mask it's it's not that it has any specific ingredients it's just that it attracted me because it says hydrating so if you're into applying like now when you're doing a chemical pills like the ideal for me is to uh do a face mask before i enter the shower during the season because the 
help you heal if you get a good face mask so skin essentials ke has this face mask which you can get from them though let me just really go to things with active ingredients i'm just trying this out i wouldn't say i'd buy it again but if you're new to active ingredients and you just want something hydrating that you can be, be applying before the shower um to give you a glow uh infuse some ingredients some hydrating ingredients into you that's not a bad place to start but now when you are pro in skincare there are just things you shouldn't miss believe me guys we've been sleeping on these people these people like they're not paid me i don't do sponsored posts i don't do sponsored videos unless i'm really paid a lot and i will tell you guys i've been sponsored but filerina oh my god their face masks their creams i i'm in love with that hair when it has it like for life so this of course i told you guys i do after i do my glycolic acid face this face um glycolic acid oh they even missed it for me allow me to get some wipes and things and things for it i just remember there's one thing i need to include in my skincare pack a bentonite mask Okay, so let me just write this fast and then let me see if I gotta take care of me. I gotta take care of my hygiene. I'm very hygienic about what I apply on my face. By the way, so I had a facial when I was 18 and that ended up now giving me eczema flares for the rest of my life and that's why i'm very particular about facials i do not let anybody touch my face let me touch my face on my own i have seen what has happened so i'm not ready to take myself back where i came from with my skin i'm very hygienic very very hygienic do a lot of self-love self-care very particular so let's just put in the silicone gel sheets me by the way what i can use and make it to come how do i make it to come how do i make it to if you do not have patience to watch my videos and understand your skincare by yourself hmm? Yani you know some of you like mnakuja i think you wale how ajani jua mtu anakuja ti don't know the arrangement of what a robot because i'm a shower na vile nimepea watu glow yeah nataka tu kwa robot sasa anakuja kwa inbox na kwambia i don't have time to watch the videos because my schedule is so busy please just tell me what to do here no do you think anybody came and told me what to do nobody did i had to self discover by the way it's not all damas that have good skin Eh? if you meet a dama who has good skin there's work they are putting into that skin and fine then go to a dama who doesn't demand that you do a bit of reading about why you're doing what you're doing it's your choice but for me hey come away you can look so much after patana mimi ni nad naenda na nad so i will never miss an enzyme mask and i've already shown this in my previous content because Enzyme masks are good. Um, they exfoliate you when you well when you're on peels and retinoids. 
you know those things can cause darkening when they're exfoliating because they increase the turnover so if you don't want to feel dark if you don't want to look dark you do enzyme masks at least once a week the other thing that's ideal for african skin is bentonite bentonite clay is really good at giving you oil balance because you know if you don't have because we produce a lot of sebum so that sebum can be food for malassezia and can be food for um, what do you call it malassezia sana sana in acne the thing acne is not thing acne is not natural you know what so i usually do clay masks also just that i can't see uh no bentonite clay and what was it mud mud there's a mask i say is for hydrating i think it's mud masks i made it clear i can't remember but yeah what mask is it the french every guys give me a minute let me check my shower what's in my shower routine okay i'm a bit confused because i remember making this content but i can't remember how i clarified this so between a mud mask and a pink clay mask there's one that works well for dry skinned people and i'll try and go back to what i taught so that i can give you the accurate information but yes i will have a pink clay mask i think or a mud mask also in my regimen when i see them can't remember which is which but yeah so i'll end this there um the next thing i got this from skin essentials 254 even the bentonite from skin essentials 254 on instagram so i'm going to make uh content on my shower routine and i'll actually have just finished the videos that i've ever wanted to make um after that video for shower routine loads um, it's highly likely I won't be posting in a very very long time hopefully because I'm trying to focus on my both certification examination and reading and going to school it's becoming a bit hectic to balance these sides of my life um, this aesthetic side of me as a dama and the clinical side the clinical side of dama is very very heavy so I will be taking a break so in case you don't see me posting much it's because most of the content I'll be sharing will be in workshops physical workshop, workshops so if you want to get any other information it will be best for you to attend those physical workshops okay now um I'd like to shout out to my girl um I had an SOS for her I kind of had a date kind of and I needed some help because my hair so i'll do actually uh, a hair care routine dama recommended hair care routine um just to show you where you, show you guys where i'm with my hair this is from my girl from lazuli hair hub and she made for me a headband wig because i needed one for using in the gym and i chose to make one out of human hair guys i can leave on that like i can have m shwari case be pesa but i gotta be a baby girl i have not been doing very great with my hair to be very honest over the past months because i was busy but i'm really trying to catch up so shilandinda has been impressing on me the need to have a hair routine and i'm actually seeing her for one very soon we've just been both very busy but i always go to spritz at least every two weeks to have my hair washed and uh treated until i figure out my own healthy skincare regimen so let me remove this because i want to wear my girl's um headband wig and show you guys how much how beautiful it looks so that if you're interested like i go to the gym um a lot okay don't go a lot now like i used to because i used to go six times a week when i was 20 kilograms heavier but now i'm going 
only once a week just for maintenance also because i'm very very busy but hopefully in the future i'll be able to be more frequent but my trainer is like almost my best friend so i can never miss going to the gym because he's just amazing so yeah i just put some gel on the front i still have my hair from the last set i got at um spritz but let me just show you guys how beautiful this looks now this is ready and she just she knows how to do color features for me because i wanted like blondish highlights on this headband wig so she also chose for me oh she's just cute she chose for me a green headband to go with it i love it like i already love it thank you carol carol has been my bae for years like i started the beauty cafe with her um those who of you who've been listening to me since my beauty cafe days will know what i mean with that by that um the amazing girls the girls i work with right now i actually met in that whatsapp group i started god led me to start that group like bandari connie carol i love them so anyway this is the headband wig how cute like how cute is this so cute can't wait to rock it at the gym tomorrow and uh, thank you very much carol you have exceeded my expectations with this wig it's just it's amazing so thank you very much you can follow uh lazuli hair hub i will tag that above here you can follow lazuli hair hub uh, lazuli wig kit on instagram to get all your hair needs like this headband wig that you can wear to the gym to look pretty have a have a lovely night guys and remember to watch my um youtube for the video that i'm loading on how a dermatologist a kenyan dermatologist does um hand and feet care body care and face care so i'm going to shoot one for hair care and charity Bye-bye.